I'm at the farm at the moment and I thought you might want to know uh, precisely what we're trying to do here because sometimes I think you see bits and pieces and I'm trying to connect the dots for you. So this is what we would call a fish farm hub um, and it's here in Uganda, Rukunjiri. And the whole purpose is we're trying to support smallholder farmers who are typically uh, have one, two, up to ten different ponds but they're not doing a great job of fish farming because they just need there's a lot of the different areas that they need support with. So the vision is we set up this hub and we act as a place where farmers can get everything that they need to succeed. That's sort of our primary objective. And the way we do that is in several different ways. Um, we have a hatchery. So at the moment it's uh, a bit underdeveloped. Behind the shade there you'll see three ponds that's our small hatchery but we're expanding that so we provide fingerlings for farmers because they need those inputs um, we have feed and that's located at Porson's at another site where we produce black soldier fly which are very cheap to produce these are maggots um, but they're very high in protein and we can feed them on local waste um, which is free um, so that brings the cost right down for the farmers if you're feeding black soldier fly um, then we also provide um, a market so at the moment they're frying fish down there um, and that allows them to for farmers they have a sure market so we spoke to a farmer yesterday and she said to me ah, because I'm a short of a market I can know I can expand um, the fourth thing that we provide is access to equipment so we have an ice machine which helps with the cold chain because you want to keep fish on ice we have nets we have thermometers water measuring kits all of that stuff that you need we have um, transport and then finally but very importantly is this idea of um, technical assistance so you know you need the knowledge of how what you need to do for your ponds like how often do you fertilize them to feed your fish um, how much fish you put in to start with when do you harvest um, lots of different things uh, that we can help farmers with and we there's a bunch of professionals so we've got some highly qualified folks down there who can provide that to farmers so those five things really help farmers to succeed and that's the whole point of a hub. Now this one is a pilot for us and we've had some fantastic support over the years from various partners. I think Hacker will be our primary um, partner in this. Um, we, but we also have uh, you know, the University of Sailing, we've done a bit of research with them. KTN have done some research, uh, Innovate UK um, on Black Soldier Fly. Um, we're working with Efficiency for Access who are looking at, uh, de we're developing a new um, equipment piece which is a way to transport fish that keeps them cold. We're doing that with our partners um, in Uganda, um, Dulatrop and Redvers and then also Aston University um, and then we have yeah so we've developed all of these things over the years um, and we're now in the process of testing it and proving it if you like with all the numbers behind it with Gatsby Africa who have um, helped us to, to fill in the gaps because there's a few things we hadn't done like a hatchery and some of the black, black soldier fly things. So all of those supports, um, all those partners have come together um, and now the sort of we have this hub which is almost functional in the sense that we have pretty much everything we need. We don't have the hatchery part yet and a few other components that we're building up slowly as you do. Um, but once all of that's running, uh, we, we, you know, we started to collect the data we need to evidence that these, this works and we have an impact. And we, I know it has an impact because you know, I talk, I talk to farmers all the time um, and they're very pleased with what we're doing. Um, I talk to customers who are getting fish. I talk to our staff who, you know, a lot of their lives, you know, they've got jobs. Some of them have come from very difficult backgrounds. So, it, you know, the success is there, but we really want to show that in um, sort of a more credible way, not just people's um, stories. Um, although those, of course, are very important because that's where it really hits home. So. This is what we're, we're working on at the moment. It's got two objectives now that we've reached this stage. Is one is to prove this, and the second one is to do more hubs because we believe that this model works. So um, we now have a team behind us in the UK. Um, so that's where I'm now living. I used to live here, but I now live in the UK with my family. And there's a team of us working on this um, to develop it and to look for funding, um, to work to work out how are we going to actually roll this out, how do we find new people to do the hubs, etc, etc. Um, so that's sort of the exciting part of this journey that we're at. You know, lots of people behind the scenes working on it, lots of partners and different projects that we've had, um, all to build this. Um, and I think once we've proven it, 
um, in the next uh, nine months um, and we have some solid numbers then um, that really helps us to go forward and to find some more hubs to do. So that's sort of our plan. I hope it makes sense and you can join the dots from other videos for the things that we've been working on because it is a lot of different things and you can see it's a bit complex but it all comes together um, and each part works as a like a cog in a machine um, and it helps. And then lastly, the last lots of supporters is you lot. Um, you know, lots of people have been watching this and encouraging us on and uh, we're lots of friends and family and people we don't know. So big thank you to you for watching and thank you for su your support. And if you're watching this on YouTube, do subscribe because it helps the channel to grow, which helps us to do other things. Thank you very much.